Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Earlier this year, our government made the decision to no longer collect or remit the carbon tax on home heating. This was a decision based on fairness. The opposition won't want to hear this, but inflation continues to decrease in Saskatchewan following this decision. Mr. Speaker, immediately after this government made the move, Statistics Canada confirmed that what we already knew, that the carbon tax is driving inflation. Yes. Mr. Speaker, our inflation rate dropped to 1.9 percent in January from 2.7 percent in December, and February's inflation rate shows a further drop to 1.7 percent. An entire percentage point has been shaved off our inflation rate in just two months after we rejected Ottawa's unfair price on home heating. Our province is more than a full point lower than the national inflation rate of 2.8 per cent. If the federal government also wants to meet their goal of getting inflation down to 2 per cent, they should remove the carbon tax entirely. Yeah. Now, seven out of ten premiers are calling for a suspension of the carbon tax increase set to uh, increase again in April. Mr. Speaker, we remember when our government was the only one fighting this tax, and now the rest of Canada is catching on. Even the NDP opposition is trying to hop on the bandwagon, but Saskatchewan people aren't having anything of it. Thank you.